And to those know you, may they know you more and more. A blessed name. In your holy name. Amen. 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 The theme of today is the Christian life. Last time when I preached, we talked about the purpose of the Christian. Amen. Amen. We saw that the purpose of the aim of a Christian is to be like Christ. To live the life of Jesus or to live imitating Christ. Or to do the will of what Jesus loves. And you must acknowledge that Jesus is your all in all. It is being born again. And it is being transformed in all that you do. It is being a child of God in a word. It is walking by the Spirit of God. In all that you do, you must be led by the Holy Spirit. You must believe that you have been for, you were forgiven and that you will go in heaven. Amen. And all the things similar to those. Amen. Amen. That is the purpose of becoming a Christian. And that those are things that you must that may be a genuine Christian. Let me say that they are just in theory. And I may even say that they are easy to see. They are easy to hear them. To, they may be easy to understand or to share them to your friends. They may be easy to see them. But I now want to go in the practical term. Amen. Amen. How are we going to practice them? We have said that being a Christian, the first purpose is to be like Christ. We all heard the word of God. We read the word of God. We know how Christ lived. We know him from his birth. Even when he was still a young child, we know all his life. Amen. Amen. Till the time he ascended in heaven. Amen. Amen. Reading the Bible. We have the promise that Jesus be with us all the times in all that we encounter. Amen. Amen. Which means that in all the things that we've been encountering this life, as he encountered the hard things, it is possible for us to encounter bikomeye, hard things, hard things umubiri, that may make the body have pain, that may make us think about many things, ariko, but no we have a promise that Christ will always be with us. Inosi, In this world, there are many good things and in the good things that we can find we are with Christ we should not leave good things and then forget Christ in this world we may also encounter hard things to us even in difficult times Christ is promising to be with us Amen. Amen. And that is the part that I'm going to emphasize so that we may think about it. So when we encounter things, do we remember that we are with Christ? 
Do we call upon Christ that he may fight for us? Or we fight for ourselves? Amen. Amen. Let us read the word of God. The Bible reader can help us. Amen. Amen. He is going to read in John 14. He is going to read in John 14. Turahera Simbuke kandi azaba muri mwe sinzaba siga nk'impfubyi ahubwo nzaza aho muri asigaye umwanya muto abisi ntiho bibakimbona ariko mwebweho muzambona kuko ndiho namwe muzabaho uwo munsi muzamenya ko ndi muri data namwe mukaba muri nje nange nkaba muri mwe ufite amategeko yanje akayitondera ni unkunda kandi unkunda azakundwa na data Nanye nzamukunda mwiyereke. Yuda utari iskariota aramubaza ati data buja bibaye bite ko ugiye kutwiyereka ntiwiyereke abise. Yesu aramusubiza ati umuntu nankunda azitondera ijambo ryanje na data azamukunda tuzaza aho hari tugumane nawe. Ariko utankunda nti nitondera amagambo yanje Kandi iryo jambo mwumvise si ryanje ahubwo ni rya data wantu 27 Ravuga ngo mbasigiye amahoro amahoro yanje ndayabahaye Icyakora simbaha nkuko abisi batanga imitima yanyu ntihagarare kandi ntitinye amen 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 Nafashe umwanya wo gusomera ijambo And the message taught me again. No one yet could take it as a Kuri Christ. I thought again about Christ. Kuri Chiminagatano. On verse 15. Aravango Nimo Hunda, Musiton de Ramatege Koyan. If you love me, you will keep my commandment. Amen. Amen. You kundu moon who it on dera. If Jasha. When you love someone, you observe what he likes. When you are intending to achieve something, you will look, to, you will know the requirements that you may be able to achieve it. And after knowing the requirements, you will observe them. And here Christ is telling us that if we love him, we will keep his commandments. Amen. Hallelujah. Which means that anytime you do what Christ does not like, you do not love him. You are not with him. Amen. Amen. Let us try to do the will of Christ upon our lives. On verse 16, it says, I will pray to the Father. I will ask the Father that he may send you a helper to be with you all the times. And it should be understandable that although there are many difficult things in this world, we are not alone. Christ is in us. And we are in Christ. There is nothing that will come on us or happen. When the Holy Spirit remains silent, the Holy Spirit will give us counsel. 
Ntibishoboka kwa bisi bamuhaba. And it is not possible for the word to receive him. Kondisyo yo guhabwa muka wera. And the condition of receiving the Holy Spirit. Nukwakira Kristo. It is receiving Christ. Ukamugumya mukuri. And you should remain in his truth. Ukamugundira. You should hold him first. Ugakora ibyo kwifuza. And you should do his will. Ukirinda gukora icyaha. You should resist the devil. Bishitse ukanagikora. And when you fall in a temptation, you should be quick to ask for forgiveness. That is the man that is pleasing to God. Amen. Amen. For they can't see him, no, know him. The world does not know the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Ariko mwebwe muramuzi kuko abana namwe kandi azaba muri mwe amen But for you you know him because he is with you and he dwells in you Kuva umunsi wakirie Kristo From the day you received Christ Muka wera tura muri wowe The Holy Spirit came and dwell came to dwell in you Amen Amen Dukore iki ngo muka wera ature muri twe What do we do that the Holy Spirit may dwell in us Yihuye n'ikibazo runaka when you encounter a problem, what do you do? When you encounter hardship, what do you do? The Holy Spirit is not in the Word. Who are the Word? Who is the Word? Let me say that the Word represents people who do not do the will of God. As we are, Ahuri. where you are, does the Holy Spirit dwell in you? Amen. Amen. Ngo sinza abasiga himfubye ahubwo nzaza aho muri. I will not leave you as orphans but I will come I will come and dwell Amen. with you. Hallelujah. Kristo Christ yasezeranira intumwa promise the disciples that he will never leave them as orphans. Nubwo eh batazaba mubonesha amaso y'umubiri. Do they will not see him with their naked eyes? Ariko amaso y'umwuka yazamubona. But they are spiritual eyes, we see him. Bazaganira. They will interact to each other. He will give them counsel. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing will stop them from doing his will. Amen. Amen. Do we do what the Holy Spirit requires of us? Do we do the will of Christ? Or sometimes we get afraid. Do you do the will of the Holy Spirit? When it requires you to speak the truth in your job, when you know that you can be affected, with, do you do it? Amen. Amen. In your thoughts, do you have divine thoughts? What do you do when we encounter hard things? Amen. Amen. May the Lord have mercy on us. And may he give us the power to resist Satan. Often when we are going to fall in a temptation, there are two voices that will come. There is the voice that will ask you to do it. And there is the voice that we talk to you with a slow, a slow voice that we talk to you. The voice that will forbid you. The voice that will tell you to do the right thing. You may not give it time to tell you and you will be quick to do what is detestable to God. In that time, Christ is no longer in you. For Christ to dwell in you, you must ask for forgiveness when you fall in a temptation. Amen. Amen. Dusomye ku murongo wa 21 haranditse ngo Ufite amategeko yanjye akayitondera ni wunkunda. Kandi umhunda azakundwa na data nange nzamukunda mwiyereke. Amen. Amen. Ufite amategeko y'Imana. He who has the commandments of God. Muri we nimukunda Kristo. Loves Christ. Amen. Amen. Kandi ni we akundwa n'Imana. And he is also loved by God. Kuko ukundwa na Kristo. 
Because he who is loved by Christ is loved by God. The Holy Spirit will come and dwell in that person. Amen. Amen. Let us trust that the Holy Spirit may dwell in us to be the dwelling places of Christ to be the delight of God in all that we do let us strive to be delighted by God in, in the good things that we may encounter let us strive to be the delight of God in sad moments let God delight in us Amen, Amen. and on verse 23 and on verse 23 let us go on verse 22. Let's go on verse 22. Amen. Amen. Ukunda Christo, Whoever loves Christ azitondera ijamboje. Will keep his word. Amen. Amen. Kumurongo wa 27 haranditse ngo On verse 27 it says Mbasigiye amahoro. Amahoro yanje ndayabahaye. Amen. Icyakora simbaha nkuko abisi batanga. Imitima yanyu nihagarare kandi ntitinye. The reason why Christ said that he's living peace with us it is because he knows that the word can never give peace. Peace is given by Christ because he's the one who has it. The word will give what it has. It will only give you sorrow. That is the difference between the peace of Christ and what we call the peace of the word. You may be in a neighborhood where there are no thieves. You have food in your house. And people who look at you will think that you have peace. But, but you cannot sleep soundly because you don't have peace. You may live with someone who is extremely poor. But he has Christ. When he sleeps, he can be able to sleep soundly. And he will enjoy the few things that he has. And he has peace, full peace. Why is that? Because he knows Christ. Because he keeps the commandments of Christ. Where Christ is, there will be peace. Where Christ is, we can recognize it because that person will, dwell, will be a good fruit. Amen. Hallelujah. I took time to think. And I remember different things that Christians encounter in this journey. When you are truly saved or firm in salvation, many things that we like saying, you will try to avoid them. But the devil has many tricks or ways. That is why you reach a point that your fellow ministers in the service are all in the journey heading in the kingdom of God. But you have conflicts with your brother. Amen. Amen. We will not cease to have problems in this world. But when you when you find yourself in such a situation, what kind of fruits do you bear? Your fellow singer sitting with you, when you have conflict with each other, how do you solve that conflict? Amen. 
Amen. As long as we are in this world, problems will not cease coming in our work. When Gitwaza was preaching, he gave an example and said, you will recognize a thief when he is in, when he will be in charge of managing millions. The day he will not even have one thousand. How will we recognize that you're not a thief? But the day you will have hundreds of millions in front of you, and you're the person who uses them every day, you go and buy what you want. As the word says, when you're going to make deals, then we will know that you're a Christian if you do not make deals as heathens do. Amen. Hallelujah. There are things that we will not call sins when they are sins. Amen. Amen. Let us try to do what Christ wants. People who do what is detestable to God, they will not see God. Amen. Amen. When you have a disagreement or conflict among your brothers, how do you behave? What kinds of fruits do you bear? Amen. Amen. Last time there is a man, a friend of mine. I was talking to him about the problems that will happen in different churches. And, and then we say that if you find yourself in a situation that is not pleasing, if you get a chance of being chosen by God, that you may be under a test, how do you behave, how do you conduct yourself in that situation? Amen. Amen. How does a good disciple or student behave? Amen. Amen. The first, a good student will be attentive in class. Amen. Amen. And in your problem, you must learn from it. And the good student is exemplary to others. Amen. Amen. And the people will see you. Amen. Amen. They will, have the, they will have the courage to be transformed. Amen. Amen. And the people who caused that problem should learn from you. In, in other words, you must also become a lesson to others. But if your neighbor as Lay is sitting with Mrs. Felix, if they have disagreements or conflicts with each other, they will be taught, both of them, and that may also become a problem to the society. What will we learn from them? Amen. Amen. There is something that people will be deceiving. All trials do not come from the enemy. Amen. Amen. Trials may come from God. That they may help us in the future, not because I sinned. And not because my offender hates me. Amen. Amen. But it will come that it may save my life. That it may save me in the 
that is why we ought to commit ourselves into the hands of God every time. That is why Christ will forbid you from judging. Amen. Amen. In all the church encounters, it should make you have time to pray. That should enable you to have time to pray to God. You should have time to pray for your neighbor. The person that you call your enemy. Amen. Amen. He may be a messenger of God, but Satan will deceive you so that you may backslide. Where God wants you to be, you're going to turn back. May God have mercy on you. I'm going to give you an example. Before, Before coming to join New Jerusalem Church, where I lived before, I was also served where I was serving God, I was serving as a, I'm not sure. Mm. I did not say much at that time. But there was a Christian, a woman, and she was in Sunday school. And she would come and serve as an usher sometimes. The time came when she felt sick. And Christians did not go and visit her. Frankly speaking, I did not know her. I would see her and say that she is a Christian like all the others. And when she came back in the church after recovering, she found me at the door and then I welcomed her I showed her her seat like all the other Christians I showed her the seat and I kept on serving as usual and the woman was so hurt so offended but we I got a chance so she got a chance and she sat with the woman who was also serving as an usher. And then the woman told her, The pastor hates me. I felt sick, but no one came to visit me. And now they don't want me to serve God in his house. And then the woman asked, what happened to you? The woman who felt sick said that she felt sick, no one came to visit her. And she came back in the church, but me, for me, I led to, to sit and asked, thinking that the pastor asked me, to he to, to show her a seat. And then the woman said that if you had told me another person, I would have accepted But because you said it is for her, I don't accept. And the other woman said that maybe he doesn't know that you are not sure. And on the following Sunday, both women came. They came and greeted me. And they found me standing at the door. When they greeted me, I wanted to lead them to show them their seats, but they said that they wanted to talk to, talk to me. So we were standing just near the church. And then the other woman asked me, do you know this woman? And then I said, I don't know her name. But I know that she is a member of this church. And then, she, and then she said, do you know what she does in the ministry of God? And then I said, I don't know what she does. I know that she is a Christian. The woman, the woman said, forgive me. And then I said, what should I forgive you for? Amen. 
Amen. That's when they repeated the whole story to me. The whole story to me. Amen. Amen. What did I say it? Many people leave God. We leave God basing on certain things. That woman. It is because God wanted to save her. Because she was really going to leave God. She was at the point saying that she was not going to come back to pray. Because she was saying that there is no reason to pray again. Amen. Amen. But the Lord showed his mercy on her. Amen. Amen. So what happens to us? Amen. Amen. That was just a simple example. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to God. When you lose your beloved one, what do you do? Do you praise God or do you perform the name of God? The Lord is requiring of us to give thanks in all circumstances. When David will encounter hard things, he would start lamenting. He would see that he has enemies around him. But at the end of his prayer, he would recount the deeds of God. So when Satan attacks you and he shows you how things before you, you should show Satan the great things that God did for you. That is true salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. In this word, we will never cease having sad things. We will not stop having hard things. You will have a hard trial. And you may even think that it is the hardest. When you join it to God, He strengthens you. And as you are delivered from it, Another one comes before you. you. And when you are requested to be firm, in all of those, it is not because they are coming to harm us. Some will come to make us strong. And there is the time God sees that you are going to backslide. But when you encounter something very hard, you turn to God. Amen. 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 Some may have good things, what we call good things. And once they are living in them, they forget God. They go back and do what the world does. When something happens, when you lose what you trusted in, it is because God loves you. Yes, it is sad to lose what you had for man. But that is not a matter to God. What matters to God is our soul. Yes, it is pleasing for God to see us having what the treasures of the world. Capacity, money, abana, children, a family. Ariko, nimba Krista kuishi miye. But if Christ delights in you, ibzobu jose abi wabibura. You may lose them, and you may lose them that you may have your soul. Amen. Amen. Usengi mana. Let us pray to God. Usabi mana imbaraga. Let us pray to God that He may give us power. Let us not trust in man. Let us trust in God. Amen. Amen. And he will give us peace. Amen. Amen. Let us read in John 15. John 15. 
John 15, verse 1 to 7. Ivanachumanagatanu, <laughs> Uko ishami ritabasha kwera imbuto ubwaryo ritagumye mu muzabibu niko namwe mutabibasha ni mutaguma muri je Nige muzabibu namwe muri amashami Uguma muri nje nanje nkaguma muri we uwo niwe wera imbuto nyinshi kuko ari ntacyo mubasha gukora mutamfite Umuntu utaguma muri je ajugunywa hanze y'ishami ryumwe maze bakaya maze bakayateranya maze bakateranya bakayajugunya mu muriro agashya ni muguma muri nje amagambo yanje akaguma muri mwe musabe icyo mushaka cyose muzagihabwa ibyo nibyo byubahisha data nuko mweri imbuto nyinshi mukaba abigishwa banje uko data yankunze uko data yankunze niko nange nabakunze nuko rero umugume mu rukundo rwanje ni mwitondera amategeko yanje muzaguma mu rukundo rwanje Nguko nanje nitondeye amategeko ya data nkaguma mu rukundo rwe Ibyo mbibabwiriye kugira ngo umunezero wanje ube muri mwe kandi numunezero wanyu ube wuzuye Ngiri tegeko ryanje mukundane nkuko nabakunze Nta ufite urukundo ruruta urw'umuntu yafi urw'umuntu ufira inshuti ze Muri inshuti zanje ni mukora ibyo mbategeka Sinkibita abagaragu kuko umugaragu atazi ibyo shebuja akora ahubwo mbise inshuti kuko ibyo numvi ibyo numvise kuri data byose bibamenyeshije simwe mwantoranyije ahubwo nige wabatoranyije kandi mbashiriraho kugira ngo mugende mwere imbuto imbuto zanyu zigumeho kugira ngo icyo musaba data cyose mu izina ryanjye akibahe ibyo mbibategekeye kugira ngo mukundane amen amen Amen. Amen. Shimimana. Asanga. Ko dufite Bibiliya ituyobora mu byo dukora. That we have the Bible that directs us or guides us in all that we do. Mu nzira turimo. In this path. Mu byo duhura byose. In all that we encounter. You fashe Bibiliya. When you take the Bible, use the Bible. Irakwigisha. The Bible will teach you. The Holy Spirit will use the verse that you're going to read. And He guides you in what you're going to do. We are left with a short time. Let us let me be quick. Reading on verse 5. Namwe muramashami. Uguma muri je, nanje nkaguma muri we, uwo ni wewe ewe imbuto nyinshi kuko ari ntacyo mubasha gukora mutamfite amen 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 abantu benshi muzabibu ni turabubona ko dufate ni nikindi giti cyacu cyose cyera imbuto we man have not yet seen a vine but let us use any tree that bears fruit tuzi giti amashami gifite the branches of a tree Iyo igiti kimeze neza tuzi amashami yacyo nayo kwa bameze neza When the trees have they been not the, the leaves the branches will be green Ariko yo agize ishami gyuma kuri cyagiti But when a branch with this on the tree abaza ku guteka gukora ibikorwa bitandukanye People we do different activities Bareba cyagiti yashami gyuma They will look at the branch that is with Ni jo bacana That is the way they branch that they will use, they will cut it. Christ, so Christ is divine. Those who abide in him, those who do his will, those who keep, those who keep or observe his commandments, they are the branches. But in the branches, some in the midst of the way they will do what it is testable to God those are the withered branches amen. amen and what we should do 
is to always do the will of Christ in our lives. That may be a good fruit. Murongo wa tana turavu wango umonu utaguma murije ajugunywa anze hisha mijumi. Maze bakaya teranya bakaya ajugunya mumuriru. Agash. Amen. Amen. Esa huri. Where you are? Utegerejiki. What are you waiting for? Amen. Amen. Mutima wawe ukugiriki. What is your heart telling you? Ntabwo ari bishop azamenya nguriya numukiranutsi cyangwa se nisha mijumye bakwiye gujugunya mu muriro It is not for bishop to know that that is a, that eh, person is a Christian or eh, with a branch that should be thrown in fire Ego eh, nawe nk'umuhanuzi Yes he is a prophet Nk'umukozi w'Imana He is a servant of God Akenshi arabimenya ni Imana yarabimwereka And God will reveal that to him Ari ku muntu wambere abimenya but the first person to know it is yourself. Amen. Amen. If the Holy Spirit is in you, you know it. If you no longer have him, you know it too. What are you waiting for? What are you prepared for? Amen. Amen. On verse 7, Amen. 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 If we abide in Christ, whatever that we wish to ask, we shall be, it shall be done for us. I thought about this scripture. Often, when we say that we should ask whatever that we want, we will think about the word. We will think about beautiful houses. We will think about a lot of money. We will think about cars. Amen. Amen. Yes, they are good. But the greatest is not that. The greatest to God is seeking God. It's being firm in God. It is praying for power to God. Yes, all the other things. Christ knows well that they are right for us to have them. And he will provide them that we may do his Amen. ministry. Amen. If we seek him in truth, he will provide the rest. But what is the problem? The problem is that we are seeking the things of the world more than how we seek Christ. And many times because of his great love because that if you find them you will forsake him or you will abandon him that you will leave him that is why he will withhold them that you may Abide in him. You should seek Christ in truth. And you will have the rest because they are yours. Amen. Amen. Verse 14. You are my friends if you do what I command you. When you are a friend of a person. When you ask him what he has. He will give it to you. So Christ died for us on the cross. Christ died for us on the cross. What will he withhold from us? But he will give it to you if you please him. How will you please him? You will do what he loves. You will observe his commandments. On verse 16 it says, You did not choose me. No one should deceive himself and say that it is because of his great wisdom, but let me say that Christ chose us. I chose you and that place that you may go and, uh, 
and bear fruit. Imbuto Kujirango, icho muzasaba, data chose mizina janje, achibahe. Amen. Your fruit should abide that whatever you ask the Father in my name, Amen. I may give it to you. Amen. Christo akuzutaraba. Christ knew you before you were formed. Yagutora nize utaraba. He chose you before you were born. Ichadusaba nichim. And what he is requiring of us is one no, thing. It is surrounding our heart no, to him. It is doing his will. Amen. Amen. Because he doesn't want to lose you. That is why there are things that you will not have. Because he knows that if you get them, you will abandon him. Amen. 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 Let us strive to please the mind of God. And if God delights in us, if God is pleased with us, He will not fail to give us all things that we Amen. want. Amen. Amen. These things I command you so that you may love one another. On verse 17. We will have all of them because we have Amen. love. Amen. Amen. Because you love your neighbor. Amen. Amen. Even when your neighbor will speak ill of you, you will know that it is not by him, but by the devil that is using him. Jesus when Jesus told me, when he told him, get behind me, Satan. Someone would hear it and say that he is telling Satan. But let me say that he was telling Satan that was in him. Amen. Amen. So if time comes, and someone offends you or betrays you, and you should know that it is not by him, and you get to recognize that he was used by the devil. Amen. Amen. You will have reached a pleasing level to God. And you will have the earnestness to pray for him. And you will weep because he is in the way of destruction. You will pray for his soul. Amen. Amen. That is the true reputation of Testimony. Amen. Amen. Those are the kinds of fruits that God wants us to bear. In good things. It is hard to know that someone is, good, is a person who bears good fruit. And you will recognize someone who bears good fruits in trials. How he will conduct himself in trials. That is when you will recognize his true personality. And that is when he will become a true exemplary person to his Amen. neighbors. Let us seek God with all our eagerness. And the Lord will reveal himself or manifest himself to us. Amen. Amen. May the Lord show his kindness to us. May he give us the power to resist sin. May he give us love. And that is what I wish to you. Amen. Amen. Let us request prophetic bishop to come and pray for us. Amen. Amen. That people will repent. The shepherd will do it. And he will pray that you may have the power to resist the devil. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us give everyone for place to the preacher. After hearing the word of God, we were edified to touch by the word of God. We know how if we affirm more 
not firm. Yamaze kwinjiza ijambo ry'Imana mu mutima wa karitekereza ha kumva ibyaha bizamuka ugomba kwihana After hearing the word of God if you have if you admit your sins and you want to repent It is good to do it That is what happened to all of us one day We heard the word of God and then we decided to receive Jesus Christ if you are here and you would like to receive Christ, please raise up your hand. If there is someone who is here and would like to receive Christ, if there is someone who is still working in the sinful life and he would like to make a step and receive Christ, please raise up your hand that we may help you in a prayer. Because we have people following the word of God online. Wherever you are. I want you to think about yourself and we are going to help you in a prayer of receiving Christ. You may be sitting in your bedroom and you were following us, thinking about the word of God. You may hear this message tomorrow or in three days to come. But let us happy in this prayer of confessing your sins. Say, Lord Jesus, I come in your presence. Asking for forgiveness no. for all the sins that are committed from the past time until now, God. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. My name, Father. Remove it in the book of destruction and write it in the book of life. Thank you for forgiving me, O Lord Jesus. I will serve you. I will worship you till the day you will come and take church. I thank you for being my Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you for receiving Christ. You have received Christ. That we now have people after hearing the word of God, they found that they have backslid. If you turn back but you want to be revived, you will stand up that you may help you in a prayer. In other words, you are requesting lazy people, people are distracted to stand up. This is a good time to think about yourself. This is a good time to evaluate yourself. And you will stand up that we may help you in a prayer. People think that they are not doing the service of the Father well. They will stand up so that we may help them in a prayer. You say it, you do not think about others. You have heard what the preacher said. When you have excuses that they did not visit you and then you say that that is the reason why you backslid. When you say that it is because they did not call you. But let me say that you will have no excuse on the day of judgment. Everyone will be judged depending on his deeds. For those who are already standing, that is very good. And for those who are still thinking about it, those who are not doing his service, 
It's a time that we may happy in a prayer. You may be distracted by different things. Maybe your job. When people backslide, they will have an, they will have these kinds of excuses that it is because of their jobs, it's because of their supervisors. You will not have anyone not having an excuse or the reason why he backslides. But there is no excuse you have of backsliding. Let us pray for you standing. That is very good. The word of God is a murder we use for self-evaluation. Let us pray. Father, I bless your name. Your people, your servants, your children, God, they have heard your word and they found that they are not firm. They have found that they are weaknesses that are walking in. But they repent again. They have accepted to live behind. They have accepted to turn in the right path. They have accepted to rise again. Bless them. Give them power. Give them faith. Increase revival. Times to read the word. Times to repent. Times to attend holy convocations. Times to do the service of God again. God. And we pray that they may do their responsibilities well. Thank you for blessing them, giving them power, wisdom, joy, righteousness, and bearing good fruits. I thank you for blessing them. And the part to do your will, O God. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand up and pray together. I thank God that we accept. We can even clap for it. It is good to be sapped. Let us thank God. Father, I bless your name. I bless your name, O Lord, for the holy convocation. As we are in your house, we have heard songs, we heard prayers, the word of God. Your children, God, they have brought contributions and they have brought their tithe. They have brought their tithe and they need to be led by the Holy Spirit. They need power. They need revival. They need to be transformed. They need to be a fruit. I pray to you for a blessing. I pray that they may be protected. I pray that they may be prosperous. I pray that they may be blessed. I pray that they may have a good life. The works that they do, may you bless them. Their daily life. May you be in their daily life. You, their children, protect them. Bless them. Their husbands, may they be blessed. Their wives, may they be blessed. Their marriages, may you bless them. We bless your name, O Lord, for giving a blessing. For those who do not have jobs, for those who do not have jobs, God. For the hungry, those who do not have clothes, we pray for them, O oh God, that you may bless them, that you may open doors for them, that you may give jobs. You're the one who gives food, you're the one who gives clothes, you're the one who supports, and you're the one who gives what is right to people. May you continue blessing them to the church. May you continue blessing our nation. May you continue protecting it. And may you continue blessing us. Thank you for this holy convocation. And thank you for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You deserve the glory. Be praised to God. 
kandi tugushize hejo and we magnify you uhereye umunsi from today no kugeza umunsi uzaza and to, to, until the time you will come amen amen Everyone <laughs> We are coming to the end of our fellowship. Let us all stand up. As we move, go out, let us respect all the measures of prevention against coronavirus. God bless you. Have a very great evening. Amen. Amen.